I guess I, I kind of hit the wall too, where it's it gets overwhelming at, at some point. Like yeah. you, the the beginner labs are like, okay, nah, networking cool, Linux cool, I can get past that. But then you hit those like really really hard things, like whoa, I wasn't ready for that. Like trying to jump into a hack the box room is like ah. Do you just brute force through it? Do you watch some Ipsex videos, or do you just suggest going back to the basics? Ooh. This is a hot topic, and this is where it shows how I'm I'm a noob just as well. When you're learning, I don't think there is any shame in looking at the solutions. Like, if you're trying to ride a bike, you're not going to go without the training wheels on for the very first couple of runs, right? Like, it's totally okay to peek at the solution to get past whatever wall or to see what new technology you just weren't even looking at because you didn't know was it. A thing it didn't exist in your mind so you weren't able to go enumerate or go find that or go learn something in that regard uh, if you're not like playing in a competition or something hardcore and intense right now if you're just learning for the sake of learning go check out ipsec in his walkthrough video or go look at the blog posts and articles that someone already wrote a year ago when they worked through this box this machine or this task I don't think there's a big issue in that because you're learning. Like you're trying to get better. And one day, the next time you're playing this for a competition, for a tournament, or you're doing it for your real work and your job, you don't know that there is an answer out there. You don't know if this thing is vulnerable or not. Well, you've practiced, you've prepped, you've been, you've been worth the training wheels for so long that now you don't need them anymore. And I think that's my perspective. If you're banging your head against the wall, do it for a little bit, but not so much that you bog yourself down and want to give up, right? 